Hi, welcome to the boardshop.co.uk guide of how to stick a tail pad on. This is the thing we get emailed most about, most phone calls about, how do you put it on, is there a right way, wrong way, etc, etc. Where should you put it, all those questions. So, <coughs> going to show you right now. Right, so here we go. First, most important thing is, clean board. If you've got a brand new board straight out of the showroom, still give it a wipe over with some thinners or something just to make sure it's properly clean. If you've already waxed your board and you're applying a tail pad afterwards, use a wax comb or suitable tool, make sure you get all the wax off. If you don't get all the wax off, the tail pad won't stick properly and it will eventually come off. After you've cleaned it up wax wise, it's time to give it a wipe with some thinners. Just got some here, just some white spirit. So give it a wipe over. This basically just gets rid of any tiny bits of dirt and gives it makes it properly, properly clean. <clears throat> Good thing about that is, it dries almost straight away. Get rid of that. Next thing, you've got your towel pad out of the packaging. Throw away the rubbish. Lay it up, and we're gonna work out where we want it. <clears throat> Normally, you stick it quite, quite tight to the stringer. The idea of the kick turn is that it gives you a um, some purchase when you're pushing through your turns and uh, um, on a more basic board it helps you with your back foot location as well. You've got the leash plug uh, <coughs> right there so back the uh, tail pad back up towards the leash pad <coughs> get it lined up how you want it you can use a ruler in reality it's not that important um, for 99% of the surface how good it is the lining up and then the most important thing pencil just do a little line around the top, a little line around the back. You can take it away and you've got a guide as to where the, tail, the pad's going to go. Same thing on the other side, a little line there, a little line there. I'm going to put one down the inside as well so I can line it up. No point putting it on the outside, won't be able to see it, but there we are, did it anyway. Okay, <coughs> super sticky 3M adhesive on the back of tail pads nowadays. So, I'm going to peel it off, there it is, throw the rubbish away, and I'm going to line it up with the uh, pencil marks that I put on the board earlier. Get it quite straight, lined up, give it a good push down around the edges on the tail pad. We're going to put some weight on this in a little while, uh, just to give it an extra little bit of push. Second piece, throw away the uh, rubbish, line it up with my pencil marks, get it in similar proportion to the other side. There we go, stick it down, push it down around the edges. Tail pad attached. You can use books, another surfboard, your girlfriend, whatever you like, something heavy to weigh it down. But I would leave all the weight on it um, six or so hours overnight. Don't stick it on and go and surf it straight away because it will come off. The adhesive takes time to go off. There it is. All chopsticks, your tail pad, all for you.